Hi, I'm Jenny Fish from One Big Happy Yarn Company and welcome back to our Knitted Nesting Baskets Knit Along. This is episode two. In the first episode, we learned how to make the base of the baskets. Now we're ready to switch over to circular needles and work the sides and finish off these cute, amazing home decor, beautiful baskets. I love them. We're using the Cascade Nifty Cotton. We're double stranding, which means we're holding two strands at the same time. Just some basic information there I want to go back over with you so you know how we're getting this thick, beautiful, luscious look. Okay, so this is where we left off. I have, this is the small size. I have everything here and I'm ready to move over to my circular needles. These are US size nine knitting needle. So we're just gonna go ahead, there's the beginning of my round. I'm gonna knit right onto my circular needle. It's as simple as that. I'll go ahead and just knit every stitch. And by knitting every stitch uh, on this round, this is the first round of a two round repeat for the bamboo stitch pattern, which is this lovely pattern that we have right here. It's knit one round and then we'll work into this little special design right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and knit all the way around. Once I get back here, then I'll show you round two of the bamboo stitch. Okay, so I only have a few more stitches to knit onto my circular needle. I'm just continuing knitting those off of the double pointed needles and sliding them onto here or knitting them onto here. Okay, so now I can get rid of that one and they are all on this one needle. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a round stitch marker. You could just move your locking stitch marker up, whichever you prefer. I like to use the round ones when I, when I can. Okay, so now we are gonna be on round two of the bamboo stitch. I'm gonna show you how to make that lovely pattern right there. We're going to bring our yarn to the front We're going to knit two stitches. Then I'm taking my left needle, picking up that yarn over that I did and bringing it over those two stitches. So again, bring my yarn to the front, then I'm knitting two stitches. By bringing my yarn to the front, I'm making a yarn over and then pick that yarn over up and over just like that. Do that all the way around. Bring my yarn to the front and then knit, which is creating a yarn over, knitting two stitches, picking that yarn over up and over. That simple. Continue doing that all the way around until I get to my stitch marker. And then you knit one round, repeat that same pattern of the yarn over knit two. And you continue doing that until your basket reaches the height that you want the height that's listed in the pattern. And then I'll show you how to make the handles. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've worked one repeat of the bamboo stitch right here. And that's right here. You're gonna go ahead and work up um, to the depth of the bas basket that you wanna make. Now we're gonna work into the handle. I just wanna show you on my little sample here. I chose to change colors. I like the contrast between the two different colors. Again, it's still double stranded. And we're going to knit one round with the new color. And then the pattern that I tell you to work in garter stitch. When you work in garter stitch in the round, that means that you're going to knit one round, purl one round. So you're gonna work in garter stitch for two rounds, which means I'm gonna knit one round and then I'm gonna purl one round. When I get back to my stitch marker, I'll show you how that looks and we'll start the hole, which is this area right here for the handle. So this is what I'm working on now, and then I'll come back and show you how we work the area right here. Okay, so now I'm ready to make the handle. To make the handle, we are going to bind off 10 stitches. And to do that, I'm gonna simply knit into stitch one, knit into stitch two. Let me move this here. Do you see that pretty good? Then we're going to lift the first stitch up and over. Then I knit into the next one, lift that up and over. I'm at three now. This is gonna be four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now you're gonna go ahead and knit all the way over to the other side and in your pattern, each size will tell you how many stitches you need to knit to get to the other side handle and then you bind off again. One of the tricky things I wanna show you is even though this stitch is now on my left needle, this is gonna go into the stitch count as I go around. So this will be one, then I knit into this one, this one's two as you're counting your stitches to get to your other handle. It gets a little tricky, so I wanted to show that out to you. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and knit all the way around here, and then I'm gonna show you how to fill in this gap and make the top part of the handle. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. I'm gonna knit this last stitch. This is my stitch marker for my beginning of the round, and I'm gonna keep it because now I need to uh, cast on 10 stitches to fill the gap to get to the other side of the work. So here's where I finished. Now I'm back here and I need to create these stitches up here. You can use whatever cast on method you want. I'm gonna use a knitted cast on, which means I'm gonna flip my work this way. And I remember I wanna keep my beginning of the round stitch marker. So I'm gonna put it over to the side here. Okay, so to do a knitted cast on, this is my beginning of the round marker. I'm just gonna hold this off to the side here. I have turned my work over. I'm going to knit into this stitch bring my yarn up and place it on the needle. That's one, do that again, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I've got all my stitches cast on, ten stitches here. Now I need to bridge the gap over here. But remember, I'm working in garter stitch. My last round was knit. So now I need to purl, and I'm gonna purl into this first stitch by bringing my yarn to the front, sliding my needle in, and working that stitch. Now I'm gonna purl all the way around, completing that garter stitch round. You'll go ahead, knit the next round, purl the next round, and then you're ready to bind off. Follow the pattern, it'll give you the exact instructions of working this garter stitch right here and then for the size that you're making, and then you bind off. And that is the knitted nesting baskets. I'm so excited I got the opportunity to show you and have this knit along. Don't forget, you can get your kit with the pattern and all the yarn you need for all three sizes at onebighappy.com. Thank you and happy knitting.